On our first topic of the day, the U.S. Supreme Court rules that jury verdicts must be unanimous. Unanimous means 100% or everybody. And there is a reason this caught my eye. But first, let's get into the story and then I will explain it. The Supreme Court on Monday ruled that the U.S. Constitution's guarantee of trial by jury requires a unanimous verdict in serious crimes handling in a victory to a Louisiana man convicted of a 2014 murder in New Orleans. The court's 6-3 ruling means that Escalaro Romero's who was convicted on a 10-2 vote of the 2014 murder of Terence Fielsen, whose body was found in a trash can, will likely get a new trial. Only two of the 50 states, Louisiana and Oregon, have allowed for non-unanimous verdicts. Louisiana updated its law to prohibit non-unanimous verdicts starting last year, but that change does not apply retroactively. Ramirez was sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. Okay, and this is why this actually, um, that's actually meant something to me. Because you heard how it affected two states, Louisiana and um, Oregon. Now, I listened to crime podcast and they had a podcast on about a month ago and in this one was Oregon and the guy the jury was actually 10 to 2 so he did go to jail and then he did get out off of a new evidence DNA that came years later but that's when it became aware to me that it was not 12 12 for all 50 states so I am glad that this is being applied among all 50 states now and everybody will get a chance for a free trial so I have a question for you my question question for you how are trials handled in your country and what standard is a jury held to does it have one or is it just a judge please leave your comments below I would like to learn how the criminal justice system is handled in your country. Hi, the small clip you saw was brought to you by Loyal World News. If you like what you saw, you should subscribe and, tune and look up my daily Loyal World News report for its full version. If you don't want to watch it on YouTube, prefer to be on the road, I also have a podcast in, in every full-length video I put up.